Hi guys. I bought so many things from my week in New York. Literally Sephora, Beauty CVS, Dwayne Reed, shot like a vintage, a new nose. I bought so many things. So let's do a haul. I'm still really, really swollen on the nose. So just bear with me on that. And if you want to see more about that, go to my TikTok because I did like every single day when I was in New York. Did I post every single day I was in New York? Yeah, I did. Even the day of my surgery, I still filmed. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, let me show you my haul because I was so excited to go to Sephora. The week I go to New York, Sephora opens up in the UK. Like, what are the chances? But obviously I still went and bought quite a few things. But the first thing I actually got was recommended to me by so many people in my... I put up like a story on Instagram saying like, what do I buy in New York these days? And it's this cropped attorney t-shirt. Now, look how long they are. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> They're made for people with very long arms. So I got this colour and I got a grey as well. What should I show you first? Hmm. Let me show you beauty first because that was really like so, so exciting to me to be able to go to Sephora again. Um, so I got who, which OGs remember these? The Sephora Liquid Lip. I got two, well, they're actually called a cream lip stain. I used to love the red colour, but I love this Killian red lipstick now. I'll link it down below. It's the best red lipstick you'll ever use. So I got some nudes instead. So I got 66 and 32 so I could do like an ombre lip. These are so creamy. I'm not going to put them on now. What do I have on now? Right now I have Lancome on my lips. I also got this hair mask, which is like, I feel like it's like $30 or something. Like this is, how much is this hair mask? Yeah, it's $30. Oh my God, my, my memory for numbers is like weird. Like I don't remember my name, like literally, but numbers is, I don't know why numbers stay in my head. This was $30, the size of my toe. What is that about? This is K18 hair mask and everyone keeps talking about it. It was like, as soon as you walk into Sephora, it was right there, you know what I mean? It was like, bam, which means like, that. that's always the stuff that people are asking for and reaching towards. Like why? What? What kind of a fucking hair? This is gonna like literally do my hair once. Apparently this is literally the world's best hair mask and everyone's talking about it, blah, blah, blah. And it has biometric hair science in it. I'll let you know if it's better than Kerastars and if this sample size is worth $30. I also got a Kosas concealer. I'm so excited. I haven't actually used it yet. I got the shade 5.5. I hope it's the right shade. And I tested it in the store and I was like, this is so creamy and so delicious. I used to use Kosas like way back in the day. This was something else I got. Where is the actual thing? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I got this perfume, even though I literally was like walking around with my like rhinoplasty cast on, I couldn't smell anything. I could smell this. This is from Heretic called Dirty Vanilla. You have to say it with an American accent, okay? And I love vanilla. It smells, you know what it smells like? It smells like the end of a vanilla candle when it's like a bit burnt. Oh, it's so sexy. It's so, so good. I know my perfume that I wear all the time at the moment is um, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. That and Armani My Way. Oh, they're so good. Then everyone else said, try Merit Beauty. I am so excited. Merit Beauty, I heard they were coming to the UK. I don't know if they are. I hope they are because their products are so gorgeous and I literally have used this so much already and I've like barely been home. This is the Bronze Balm Insane. Like, look how much I've used. You can see it's like flat kind of already it's like not like curved and it's literally like a cream bronzer can you see I'm not like putting it on properly because I don't want to do it on properly because I have my makeup but look it's like cream to powder formula I'm wearing it today I've literally worn it every single day since I got it it's the perfect 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 color on me Sen. so after the general anesthetic my skin became really itchy. It's like a thing that apparently happens when you go on general anesthetic, like your skin can react to it. It's not like an allergic reaction, but your, your body just isn't happy, basically. Someone recommended me this Avena range, which we don't have in the UK. Or if anyone knows where I can get it in the UK, because I've already finished this, and this was so good. This is the Avena Calm and Restore um, Skin Therapy Balm. It's the Collodial Oatmeal Skin Protectant. This, I'm so sad I finished it. Like, this is the best body balm I've ever used. It reminds me of this Lumine one I used to love that was in a pot that they, it was actually for the face, and I used to put it, like, anywhere I got dry or itchy or eczema or whatever. And they stopped doing it, and I'm so, so sad. I wish Lumine would bring it back. Um, and this was, like, the closest thing I've ever found to it, and I can't get it in the UK. Um, but my cousin's coming back from New York this weekend, 
and I literally asked her to bring me back some more of this and I got the bigger pot this is the eczema therapy does anyone have eczema and if you have have you tried this I haven't tried this balm I feel like it's still sealed yeah I also got the pot and this it has to be apparently from the range of the colloidal oatmeal um, treatment um, that literally I put that on for two nights and my skin wasn't itchy or flaky anymore it was amazing and then I put it on before the plane and normally after the plane I'm like scratching and it's horrible so what can I show you here I have so many things so I was in my hotel room for five days I literally didn't see anyone I was so 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 bored and I literally did every day every single day a different parcel arrived to my house which in my defense I probably well, it's not even defense. I probably would have done that if I wasn't bored at like, my hotel room, but I probably would have gone. There were these leather pants I tried on at Aritzia that were amazing, and I'll insert a clip of them. They were so good. I'm gonna link them down below, but they didn't have my size in the whole of Aritzia, and they weren't gonna be able to be shipped in time by the time I found them. And that was the only thing I got saw in Aritzia that I just totally fell in love with, so I can't stop thinking about them. So maybe I order them, I don't know. I got these pants. They're from, the, the matching pants from the cream set I have, but they're like a thicker wool from Something Navy. If you do buy from Something Navy, size up. These are wide leg black pants. I just think they're so elegant. They're such a great staple. And I feel like her clothes are such gorgeous quality. Everything that I've bought from her own range. Um, I have followed Arielle for years and I'm like really, really happy to support her. Also, someone sent me a DM saying, skims buy skims when you're in the states and i was like but we have skims in the uk and they were like but it's cheaper in the states which i didn't know that so i got a little skims bralette which is this gray one here also i noticed the stock was different in the uk in the us so and then i got the matching where is it oh yeah the matching boxer briefs i don't know if this is going to look silly on me but i just felt like hanging out in these would be so cozy and nice like especially with like woolly socks on oh this is the gray shirt this is the color gray from the same um eterno range that i uh got like this back top and it's the softest top. I don't, I'm a bit scared to wash it. Like I don't, you know when you don't want to wash something like in case, in case it changes like the consistency of it. I'm just looking outside and it's like pouring with rain. Like I think if I put a bowl outside it would fill up in like 10 seconds. Weird. Okay, then what else did I buy? Oh, then I got some more skimmy skims. This is the skims black tank. Like their basics are just so good and I know I never used to live in a t-shirt and jeans and stuff and now that's like literally all I wear so all I do is buy, <laughs> is buy like different t-shirts. This one's like super tight. I'm gonna try it on for you. Hold on. What bra am I wearing? Oh yes it's a nice bra. I was like what bra is it? What bra is it? Let's just see what bra this is in case it was like a granny bra. Just kidding I don't have granny bras if any men are watching that I know in my life that have asked me out in the past. <laughs> Okay, I also had surgery on my ear because, well, it's a long story, you can go watch my TikTok for that. Ah, uh, can you see what I mean? This is like, this is the vibe. It's like, it's giving big boobs small waist. That's just like what these t-shirts give. Shall I stay in this t-shirt now that I've changed? Oh no, I'm not going to stay in it because I want to show you this top. I got three going out things. Well, quite a few actually going out things. This was a little top from Nasty Gal. Let's try this on together. Because when I tried this stuff on, I was just trying it on to see if it fit. And I looked so disgusting. Like, I literally looked so bad. I'm going to show you a picture of me trying on this jumpsuit just to see if it fit. I didn't even look my worst. I looked like beyond my worst. I just looked I just looked so, so bad. This I just thought would actually go really well with the something navy pants, and I wanted a top like this, which, I don't know if my boobs are gonna fit in here, but let's take this off. I wanted a top like this that was like a bit chainy, and Nasty Girl quality isn't amazing. I haven't ordered from them in so many years, but I just, it, it was, I, I just wanted to try it and see if anything had changed, honestly. Like, I just thought this top was really cute and very easy to wear. Look, I couldn't fake tan my own back because my ear hurt so much that I couldn't like go to the back of my thing. Um, so my back is like white, <laughs> oh my god. You can really see my tan actually does work, like that is natural me. Um, anyway, I figured like no one's, no one's seeing that, except then I went on YouTube and showed you my back. Excellent. Oh, I have missed you. Uh, what was I saying, this top, yeah. What do we think? I like, I really like it. I really like it. I wouldn't really wear it with this, but I would wear it with like high-waisted black pants and it, I just feel like it's easy and then I would chuck on a blazer over the top and I could also tuck that little like thing in there. Um, I just feel like it's it's dead easy. And it has a little chain. Should I try it on with the pants? I'm just gonna strip right in front of you. These something navy pants, I don't know what waist size they use. 
like I have a lot a wide waist for my size my height and I have to size up one than my normal size but I would just for this like not for the height or the width or anything else um so keep that in mind because it is a bit annoying but the quality is so nice ah oh, yes see like it's kind of giving like black jumpsuit but like if you want to be more casual you know that is so cute I've like made my own little black jumpsuit but should we try tucking this out oh I kind of prefer that you know what do you think I might need to tailor these but these pants are like Oh, I just, it's the front pleat for me. I always find that really flattering. If you're looking at wide leg pants, look at ones that have a front pleat because I feel like they just make your legs look longer. Sorry, it's got really dark in here. I just told you it was like raining and it's like freaking pitch black all of a sudden. It was, when I started filming this, it was sunny. Have I been talking for that long? I will try anything once. And Estee told me to go to the store called Creed Beauty and I saw this brand Moon Juice and they have all these like dust and powders for different things. One was like moody, blah, blah, blah. This one is sex dust. And I was like, you know what? I, I, might as well. Oh, I'm not happy with this gray t day. Sorry if it looks a bit gray to you all of a sudden. I do want to whiten my teeth. This is the Botanical Teeth Whitening Pen from Kiko. I'm gonna try this. I'll let you know how I get off. Then I went to this incredible store. If you follow me on TikTok, you will see that I went here. Called Treasures of NYC. It's a vintage store, but you have to book an appointment a month before and the appointments sell out the same day. And it's an hour time slot. You get the whole store to yourself for an hour. So you can do whatever you want in there. They were so nice in there. And there were so many amazing things, but I honestly, because my hour was like running out, I like felt a bit overwhelmed and I just like, I wish I bought this Dior Gilet I tried on, um, but I bought these really cute Cavalli denim shorts and um, they came with a matching top, but the top didn't quite fit right. Oh, these are so cute, they're so fun. You know when it's like you panic buy and it's the end of the hour and I feel like maybe that's their tactic by getting you to like book in for an hour because I was like 10 minutes late, obviously. <laughs> and then by the time I was like filming and I was just trying so many stuff on and they have jewelry, sunglasses, bags, shoes, top, like every clothes. So like, I don't know, that's like a quite a long time, especially for vintage, it's like, it's not like organized. You know, like when you go to Aritzia, it's like everything is like there's all the black tops, so you can see everything. This is like so many different brands, so much variety, it's quite hard to get through in like an hour, um, and try stuff on. My timeline like send my sister pictures. Anyway, maybe that's their tactic, so you like panic buy at the end of your hour. Um, but I got these Cavalli little denim shorts, which are so cute, they're like orange, and I wish the top fitted me better. Um, I probably would have altered the top, but I figured I alter so many of my clothes to alter a beach top, essentially, it just didn't make that much sense to me. Then I got myself a little cardigan from Free People. I got one for P as well. We are obsessed with Free People cashmere. Like, it is the best cashmere. I think this M&S, like, it's so, so good. My Free People jumpers are my favorites. So I got a little collared cardigan in this dark maroon color, which, oh, it's so soft and it has really cute little buttons. And I just figured with all my little tanks and stuff, I just want something easy to throw on and then you can button it up. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. Can you hear the rain? Oh my gosh, I haven't walked the dog yet today. What am I gonna do? Poor Duke, shit. So yeah, that's my little Free People cardigan. I would highly recommend Free People cashmere because it's gorgeous. Um, then, okay, oh my gosh, this is so great. So, I got a few more things. Let me show you. Let me show you this top, should I show you this top first? I got this little bodysuit from Skims. Like, they just snatch you so much. Like, they give you boobs. Like, they suck you in. They give you an ass, even though my ass has completely disappeared because I haven't worked out since I effed my back. But I just, I love Skims. Like, Kim just, she knows how to snatch us and up and down. Oh, oh, I, oh, should I show you the other things or should I, should I show you what's in here? This is so cute. I really wanted this and I saw it on Front Row Live's Instagram. She's one of my favorite personal shoppers to follow on Instagram. I'll leave her Instagram down below. You can go and find her. This is a little hat I saw on her Instagram that I really wanted and I saw it, I think I saw it in the airport actually. I haven't actually tried it on with makeup on yet because I don't want to get my makeup on it, but oh. <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? Look at her. And it has, can you see, it's got like little flecks of color in it. Like it's the sweetest little hat. There was also a gray one and I did try on a white one recently. However, my makeup just gets everywhere. Do you know what I mean? Like I just thought that's so impractical. Use your brain cells, Amelia. And I'm going to, hopefully, going to the Dolomites next month, which is gonna be so cool. So hopefully I can wear it there. I saw this jumpsuit on sale on Revolve and, oh, ignore my scar. 
Look, it's so horrible. I had to get it because it's like just one of the best, it's like one of the best staples. The sun has come out again. <laughs> you literally couldn't make it up. It's already sunny, it's been two minutes. This jumpsuit, well actually sorry, it's a play suit. Like how cute is this? It's one of those pieces that I know I'm just gonna wear for ages and ages and ages. I sent it to my cousin Lucy and I was like, buy this! Cause it's, it's just a great staple, isn't it? You can wear it with anything. I can chuck a blazer over the top of it. I could, I could even chuck a little crop cardigan over this and just have the little shorts as they are. And this is what it looks like full length. Now this jumpsuit, we have how many things? Two more things here to show you, but this jumpsuit, was incredible like I feel like you look at it and you think it's designer now I was really toying between sizes and I thought do I get two and return one and in the end I went size down I'm kind of between a revolt I'm normally between an XXS and an S and I got an XXS I really wanted a jumpsuit that had long sleeves I just feel like it it gives it that m kind of more casual look when it has long sleeves and it feels less revealing um, and I saw this one on Revolve I think it's called the Tamara I'll link I'll link everything down below as well as sizes and whatever and it has these shoulder pads in it which aren't too big I feel like they're not that bad you know they don't like completely take over my body a really long slit if I lean that is as far as it goes like if I slouch so it's not like it's not like full tit um, but it's like a little tiny bit of side tit this feels really secure but I love this on the waist because it just makes your waist look snatched and then it hides like I'm quite bloated right now still from surgery but you can't tell because of how this splits everything up do you know what I mean like this kind of vibe really splits something up if you're looking to hide things rather than just like hugging your whole tummy and it's quite cool on the back this little like snatch a rooney thing is quite cool do i need to alter these i don't know but i do like the straight leg it is now so sunny can you see like how weird is this i shouldn't be filming with studio lights but i feel like they make me look weird like so like you know in the face and i just i don't like studio lights anymore so i hope you don't mind about the weather i hope it's okay this was another little jumpsuit i got from nasty gal now this needs some severe altering because it's like gaping at the sides so it needs a little bit of the snitching in here <laughs> There we go. And then it needs a little bit of anti-dusting here. But this is what we're working with. It's cute, no? Like it's easy and it comes in like four or five other colors. I was really toying between colors. There's a blue, a black, a blah, blah, blah. I will link it down below, obviously. I like the halter vibe. This is the only thing I didn't try on in New York and I thought I would just risk it because I <laughs> Because I couldn't get this like round neck thing over my um, ear cast I had on and I figured you know what it'll probably fit which it does It's so cute like look how cute this crochet top is I feel like I've saved the best for last and actually this was a serious winner So I have a hair on my nose that's irritating me However, I need to find something to wear underneath it because it's crochet and my nipple is literally coming through the crochet like beep mm -mm. So I just looked at the model and she's wearing like a, bra a black um like a bra underneath. So let me try with, well, I guess I could try. Um, I'm putting on a Skims strapless bra. Not my favorite black strapless bra. As uh, as I've said that, I've just seen that I still have the tag on it. So <laughs> that should say a lot to you, but I just want to show you this top. And I should also probably zip myself up there. Right, now you can see this a bit better. Now the model on the website is wearing it with like, um, more like a, like a, like a tank bra um i have one somewhere i need to find it but i just wanted to show you this anyway properly on like this top is a winner for me like i feel like my haul my boredom actually got me some really great things that i feel like i'm missing in my wardrobe like this is a really cute day to night top and going out as well obviously i need to fake tan my back um and that is what pia is there for <laughs> no she's actually not there for that at all um which you will find out this week on my podcast, plug plug, what I know now, if you've been listening to my podcast and my sister episode went up this week and it was so funny, but you'll find out more about Pia's life and what she does in this week's episode. So I'll link that down below too. Lots of links in the information box for you and I'm going to stop doing this now. It's just been so nice chatting to you, so thank you for having me and for watching this haul. I hope you have a wonderful week and if you're doing anything fun for Halloween, let me know. Sorry about my swollen, like unable to move kind of face but I'd rather come to you with some realness and some scars and you know, weird gross things than um, not at all, to be honest. So yeah, have a wonderful week and I will see you next Sunday with another video. Mwah. Bye guys.